I should have seen them. They were right in front of me. We met in church. One day he told me he had inside information on a breakthrough technology, and I should invest in it right away. Well, it was my life savings, and now it's gone. Oh, I should have seen them. Red flags, they were everywhere. To learn the red flags of investing, call or log on to the Utah Division of Securities. Check before you invest. There, now you can qualify, just sign here. Shouldn't we read this first? Don't worry, we just tweaked your application to show a little more income and a little less debt. Well, is that, is that legal? No, providing false information on loan documents is punishable by a fine of up to a million dollars and 30 years in prison. So you better make sure this is correct. And you, are you even licensed? And you, don't be a co-conspirator. For more information, contact the Utah Division of Real Estate. Good morning, afternoon, and evening, man. Telemarketers driving you crazy. Plus, we'll prepare. Stop them from calling again. Just say, I want to be put on your do not call list. And they can't call you back, ever. It's a state and federal law. To learn more, call the State Division of Consumer Protection. I should have seen them. They were right there in front of me. I was in pretty good shape for retirement, but then the market took a dive. He told me the returns would be amazing and fast. He pressured me, so I gave him our life savings. Now it's all gone. Now we're in a bigger financial hole than ever. I should have seen them. Red flags, they were everywhere. To learn the red flags of investing, call or log on to the Utah Division of Securities. Check before you invest. I think you could get double that. You think it's worth that much? Well, no, but with your cooperation, I convince a bank to lend me 600. I pay you 300 for the house and we split the extra 300. Is that legal? Oh, come on, you saw your house. We both make a little money. What's the problem? The problem is mortgage fraud, punishable by a fine of up to a million dollars and 30 years in prison. So don't be a co-conspirator. For more information, contact the Utah Division of Real Estate. So, you're having your car repaired? Yes, I am. Your mechanic's certified, isn't he? I don't know. You check the consumer protection buyer beware list, then your mechanic does have a valid business license, right? My car! And you did get a written estimate on what this is gonna cost. Dude, I got some bad news. Don't let auto repair little become auto despair. For more information, call the Utah My Division car. of Consumer Protection or visit the website. <laughs> No, seriously, I won the $2 million Nigerian lottery. This email says all I have to do is send this guy my bank account numbers and a $300 deposit, and it's mine! Don't let this happen to you. Contact Consumer Protection if you think you're being scammed.